Okay. Um. Oh, that light behind me's got to go. What's up, Alamanzo? Or Al? Oh God, I can never think of it. Uh, Al. Uh, oh God, damn it! What's up, Jason? What's up, big guy? I Alamanza, that's it. Big nut busting. What's up, brother? Holy shit, it has been a minute. Of all people, I never thought I'd be excited to see you, big nut. What's going on? LMB, thank you. Much appreciated. I promise it is. Can you guys hear me okay? I Almanza, I knew it was that. See, I remember, big guy. Um What's up, Harley? What the fuck is up, guys? Figured I'd do this special little video for you guys. Hopefully people call in. Questions, answers, I got them. What kind of midgets you want? I got those two. They're in the basement. I got a new tool today. You guys can all hear me good? Okay, great, great, great. I got a lot of special shit today. A lot of special shit to share with you guys. I can only share one thing with you now, but let's just say a tool company sent me a whole bunch of tools. And another company sent me something. Hold on, I'll go grab it. Oh, actually, it's right here. And I got a wicked cool snap-on tool. Ah, oh, Harley, you're fucking lucky, bro. Now, <laughs> that's not a tool, that's a fucking, that's a toothpick. Toothpicks aren't tools. Um, a company named Ingear reached out to me and sent me a, uh, a product. To review all right so after I review this product I hope you guys see it maybe if you guys want to purchase it I'll have all the links in there it's actually a badass product and they even sent me glass and a seat belt to prove to show how it works Um, but this is by far the coolest, let me point this down a little bit, the coolest, uh, window breaker, I guess you would say, uh, available. Like this thing just looks, it's, it's looks awesome. Now it's one of those window breaker seatbelt things. But this is it here. It's military grade. Um, I forgot what it's made out of. See, I'm already shitty at these reviews. But it's got a light, a very bright LED. Oh, with three or four different modes, except shut off. I don't know how to do that. Oh, all right. It's got the window breaker on the back. And then when you remove the cap, you have your seatbelt cutter. And then even a better window breaker. It, this thing's fucking awesome. It just feels great. It looks awesome. And you can use it as like something to blast somebody right in the cocksucker with. You hold this in your hand and you hit somebody, you're going to fucking break their jaw. This thing is awesome. And then it even comes with this thing you mount in the car. And it very securely holds it wherever you mount the bracket. So, like this one I'm going to put in my old lady's car. 
So if anything were to happen, it would be right there within arm's reach. And uh, you never know. Like, my, one of my biggest fears always is uh, driving off of a bridge and, um, and being stuck in a car. It sounds stupid, but it happens to people all the time. Um, can we see the tools actually being used? Yes. Um, yes. Tomorrow. Oh, speaking of which, guys, I just want to let you guys know tomorrow Bill and I are doing another collaboration. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for that. A lot of you guys have been asking Bill, asking about Bill. And uh, tomorrow we're doing another collab. And he's going to be doing another, we're going to be doing another toolbox tour update on his toolbox because uh, he just ordered his side cabinet which he got a steal on. So, but, uh, oh my God, my skin is so dry. Um, so, check this out. I'm gonna hold my hand over that and you can just see what it says there, whoops. It says snap on, what could this be guys? Wait backwards what could it be no there's not a midget in the box might be able to fit one in there though junkie didn't know what a window breaker was he thought it was a balancing device you're probably serious I don't you know what I should probably keep my fucking comments to myself I promised I would keep my comments to myself I need to keep my comments to myself. Jason, awesome. I'm glad you liked them. Thank you very much, guys. I, you know, where I'm at now, I think we're about, we're pulling up on 7,000 subs. And honestly, I could not have done it without you guys. You know what I mean? You guys are the subscribers. You watch the content. I know my videos are shit. You know what I mean? Compared to all the professional videos out there and the tool review videos, they're all shit. They're all the shit. And, uh, you know, like, I just want to, again, I always got to take time out and thank you guys. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate everything you guys do for uh, my channel. So, thank you. Now, enough of all the gay shit. Um, what do I think about Junkie Troll Nestor? You know what? I have a few things I'm going to say. I'm going to keep my initial... Mm, 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 I got a lot to say, but I made a promise. I made a, And I, I don't go back on my word. I do not. Um, but I will say about trolling Nestor, Nestor runs his business correctly. All right. And you want to know how he runs his business correctly? Because it's his business. He stays in business. He has business. He's not hurting. The man has everything he wants. So to me, you're running your business right. Okay. The day you close down your business because you're broke is the day you're running your business wrong. Okay. And until then, you know what? He, he like explain to me this, all right? This goes to show you that you don't need all the expensive tools, all right? Nestor owns his shop or owns his business, okay? And has a mediocre box, okay? Owns his own business, does it every day. Junkie does it eh, periodically here and there. Turns a wrench, maybe, if that, and he's got to go buy a $20,000 box. Why? Why? Now, there's a reason why I'm saying the things I'm saying is because I recently found something out, but I'm not going into details. I'm not. That's not what this stream is about, so enough of that. Um, but I love Nestor. I love Nestor's channel. Nestor is a great guy. If you ever need anything from him, he'll be right there. He's like another Jay Young, all right? And believe it or not, oh, one of my other favorite people, and no one ever thought this was ha would happen because everyone knew how much I hated him from the door, but I really love Joel. I really, really like Joel, the uh, Snap-on Tool Review. I hated his guts at first. I hated him. But... Um, I really like Joel. So, that's what I got to say about that. I know a lot of people think Joel and I hate each other, or still hate each other, or dislike each other. But, I really do like Joel. 
Joel, he's a good guy. I was just talking about the toolbox alone, Marcello, Mar Marcello, Marcello. I'll call you de facto. Yes, Joel is awesome. I had a complete change of heart with him. Him and I spoke, and he didn't have beef with me. I had beef with him, and I realized I was wrong because when you're on YouTube, you can do anything you want. No one's in control. And uh, so I took it upon myself, I messaged him, I emailed him, and I apologized for my actions and my words. And ever since, he's been a straight up awesome guy with me. You know, I was a dick, I was being a dick, and without hesitation, he was like, no problem, man, water under the bridge. So, make sure you guys let Joel know that I love Joel. <laughs> Um, Corey, Husky versus Harbor Freight versus Cobalt. You guys know I I have a lot of Husky. Um, I stand by Husky. Uh, I love Husky. And anytime I've ever had anything break, I just go right in, swap it out. Two seconds later, no problems, no questions asked. So... The, the tool, I completely agree. I completely agree. I wasn't saying that they shouldn't buy the boxes or whatever. I'm just saying when some, like, he likes to bash Nestor for how he runs his business. And, you know, he's got a real hard on for it. And how Nestor runs his business is how Nestor runs his business. Okay? Nestor really, really loves his fans. And he does the things he does to help his fans, like fans that are inspiring to own their own business, to become a mechanic, to, to do things. Nestor is a very good motivator. You know, like, he's not a stupid person. So, if you guys haven't already, go check out his channel. It's The Mechanic OC. And uh, go show him some love. Nestor's a good guy. He, he actually takes time to talk to his fans. Those, a lot of his videos are, to, are to, direct, to have direct contact with his fans. Okay. Uh, Hard Knocks. You can see the, the Nestor, uh, the Nestor and whatchamacallit video on the debate station. And uh, Hard Knocks tomorrow night. Guys, uh, for you, those of you that don't know, tomorrow night, Hard Knocks Forge right there, and I are got a live stream. As, so long as he says he's free tomorrow evening, we will be doing a live stream. Very awesome dude, very cool dude, very mellow. I mean, he talks a lot of shit on the computer, and then once he's live, he's like a fucking boy that's been touched by a gay uncle or two. So we got to get him out of his shell. But great dude, he'll be on tomorrow, and that's that. Um... Bob, uh, everyone said they can hear me. I asked to make sure, and everyone said they can hear me. I, I apologize if you can't hear me. And see, that, and see, right there, Marcello or whatever, Marcello, that, and see, Junkie would say, go buy Snap-on. Nestor is 100% right, all right? Now, if you don't have a family or anything like that, or kids or a girlfriend, Go ahead and start buying Snap-on. Start an RA account, though. This way here, you can only get $500 in credit, and that be that, all right? Don't go get a Snap-on account right off the jump and put yourself $20,000 in debt. That's stupid, okay? And when you're starting, I, he's right. I would not buy Snap-on tools. Use the RA account from Snap-on to get yourself a good ratchet and the necessities from Snap-on. All right, like the ratchets, get your quarter inch ratchet, your three eighths and half inch ratchets from Snap-on. 
and then the different variations, flex head, non-flex head. Use your RA account for that. And then get everything else for now, Husky and Snap-on, or Husky and uh, whatever else. If you guys look, and I'll show you in my video, I'm doing a toolbox tour tomorrow, an updated one. Every week I buy one socket from Snap-on. I'll write down the ones I use, all right? And then the ones I use are the ones I go ahead and buy from Snap-on, and I buy one socket a week. And I've already got a shit pile of them. Um, well, how did I get started in the industry? Uh, I was 16 years old, and my dad was working at a uh, cab company. And so I went there, and I've always had a thing for fixing things and turning wrenches. And I begged his boss and begged him for a job to start so I can, like, learn. I said, I'll do oil changes, I'll wash the cabs, whatever, da-da-da-da-da. This was a really nice cab company, really, really nice garage. And so he fired the other guy. He made up an excuse to fire the other guy, some kid, some punk kid. So it wasn't like I took someone from their family and or took money from their family. And hired me, and I actually wound up working 10 times harder than that kid anyways because I was ambitious and wanted to learn. And I started there. The first thing I ever did was change, change oil. I didn't watch. I didn't know how. I'd never done it before. They pointed, and I shot. That was it. Um, what's my favorite tool from Harbor Freight? I'll tell you, Jason, one of my favorite tools is the, extent, the extendable half-inch ratchet. I think it's $25. It's a half-inch ratchet. You pull the little collar, and it stretches from like 12 inches to maybe 24 or no, probably 18 inches, something like that. It's awesome because you have your normal ratchet and then like say you're breaking a caliper bolt for you. Not the, not the small caliper bolt, but the caliper bracket bolt. We all know sometimes those need a little extra pulling on them. It's great because then you're using it, you're using it when you need that extra, you just slide it back and now you got an extra foot of leverage and pull it back. That there, and then the 3 8 one is both 3 8 and quarter inch on the same ratchet. And that's another one. I love that one as well. Uh, those are a couple of my favorite Harbor Freight tools, and the the uh, the what is it the the powder coat gun, the powder coating machine they have there for like eighty bucks works great too. And then uh, yeah, also too with impact sockets, start with Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight impact sockets are not bad at all. But they have a cheaper set, and then they have a set that's like $5 more. Always splurge and get the $5 more set because the markings are nicer. And I think it's chrome molly instead of chrome vanadium. I forget. And I think chrome molly stronger. Or what, it's one of the two or something like that. Um, so, yeah, start with the impact sockets from them. Also, too, if you are in school... You get a snap-on discount, which is like 50% off, 40% off something. It's drastic. Then that's a good time to buy snap-on because then when you're in school, get all the expensive shit out of the way. All right, we're going to be doing another video with Bill. And Bill's 24 years old and has an epic snap-on box, and it's loaded with tools, all right? He still he owes snap-on right now at somewhere like... Uh, eight thousand dollars or something like that but he's got a hundred thousand and no well, no not a hundred thousand maybe it's like sixty thousand in tools in the box and everything so all that should pay all zero is eight thousand dollars so um i forget i think he pays snap on oh he pays snap on a hundred dollars a week so four hundred dollars a month but he's got no fan he's got no wife he's got no Kids, no nothing, it's just him. So he doesn't have to provide, so he can afford to do that, which is smart. And I keep telling him, get all the expensive shit out of the way now that you want. If you want a snap-on box, I'm not gonna knock you, just buy it now, okay? Because that snap-on box will last the rest of his career. So. Um, Marcello, I got my inner tie rod tool from Pittsburgh. And I got it for, I forgot, 60 bucks or something. And I've had it for years now. And I use it all the time. And it works great. 
it works great. So I will say the Harbor Freight Inner Tie Rod Tool, and I'll do a video on it for you guys. The Harbor Freight Inner Tie Rod Tool is amazing. It works really, really well. Mako Impact Swivel Sockets are better than Snap-on. Uh, eye wrench. I, I'm, I couldn't even tell you really, but again, that's your opinion. And one thing we all have to realize about tools and stuff is we can all sit here and argue who's the best, who's the best, but no one's right. You know what I mean? No one's right because you can have one tool that just was made fucked up even by Snap-on and then it breaks and then your whole opinion of Snap-on is, is shot. Um, after the shit that happened with uh, Bill Sunex pliers i do not stand by sun x they might make a couple good tools gray pneumatic i do uh gray pneumatic actually you're talking about impact sockets yeah sun x impact sockets are fine you can't go wrong with impact sockets you really cannot they all hold up they're softer they take more of a impact sockets are softer than the chrome sockets so they absorb the impact hence the name impact sockets Oh, okay, you have a self-adjusting inner tie rod tool. Uh, you could have definitely found it cheaper, but if, as long as you're happy with it and you like it and you think, you know, or if you're able to make payments on it, that's always better because then you don't have to dish it out all at once. But I've seen those. I've never used one yet. And I'm curious to see. Uh, Marcello, if you ever um, get a chance, try to make a video on that or I'm going to look for one. Hold on, I gotta open this window. It's hot as fuck. My balls are like dripping and sweating my leg or sticking to my leg. Hang on, guys. Also, a lot of you guys been asking about videos with Spike in it. I'm doing a really cool voiceover with Spike in it. So you guys look forward. You guys can look forward to that. Spike is awesome. Definitely the coolest pet I've ever owned. Um, definitely a lot of work. You know, I actually feel bad now owning one that people buy them and they don't give them as much attention as they need. Uh, I feel bad, but Spike is going to be in some upcoming videos, and I have some fucking killer, funny fucking ideas. Yes, Alexandro, uh, Snap-on wants a lot for their half-inch impact swivels. Uh, I know Bill got a set. I'll show you the video. And uh, he got them on sale. And when he bought them, not only did he get them on a sale price, but he got a free full set of sockets as well from Snap-on. Jason, you're 100% right. Uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh... You, if you're just a do-it-yourselfer or you're just starting off, there's no shame in buying Pittsburgh. Fuck what everyone else says, all right? Fuck what everyone else says, you know? It's, you know, people like Junkie put himself so far in fucking debt, it's retarded. And he doesn't even turn wrenches for a living. But, again, it's his money to each their own. I'm not going to be like him and fucking sit and talk shit on somebody but uh anyways again off of that hey hard knocks do you want to give a try calling in and um and we make sure this uh call in works because i want to start taking some calls so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna e e the numbers in the description hard knocks if you can go ahead and give it a call and we will see what happens
see here. Yeah. Oh, hey, everybody. My name is E Devil. Their name is PJ Harvey. I can't believe he died. Let's go. Mama told me. Yeah. Black pasty. Mama told me. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Mama told me. One day I'm going to grow up big and I'm going to be a king. And my papa told me. It's okay to say what shit happens. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, it's not in the... Oh, hold on, I'll put it in there right now. Let me see. I did get a burner phone so I didn't have to give my number to... What in the fuck? I can't be dead. Alright, it was just, I don't know, I guess it just shut off or something. Um, Alejandro or Jondro, I'm sorry if I butchered that. I made a promise that, um, that I would not speak of it. Um, to somebody very near and dear to me. And I can't break my promise to him. Oh, Gus Puss, did you get my email? Oh, please. I know, what's his name can vouch for me, Gus Puss, because he waited even longer than you. And, uh, and I got it. He just actually messaged me a few days ago saying he got it and how happy he was with it, so... I apologize, dude. I really, really am sorry, and I got it. Uh, actually, where the fuck is the pack? Oh, the package is over by my front door, so when I roll out tomorrow morning, it's going with me. Um, you will have the tracking number tomorrow. I promise you. Gus Bus, you've been awesome. You haven't been a dick, and I thank you so much for that. <laughs> he said, Jay Young, I can't say. You guys can use your imaginations. But I'm telling you, I will say, I was about to go ham. You guys saw Rich V's video, and I put fucking no time into making that at all. I was about to go fucking ham. I don't blame Nestor for making a video. Junkie's digging himself deeper. His head's getting fucking massive. You know, I, I, there's so much I could say, but I'm not going to say it. But I will tell you, for him to, 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 to just... 
you know, be the way he is. And I, I got so much shit when I first took him under my wing when he started. I got so much shit for sticking up and defending him. I lost a ton of subscribers. I had people messaging me all the time telling me they were going to unsubscribe if I keep uh, sticking up for him. And I said, no. I said, I, fuck it. The subscribers can go. That's fuck them. You know what I'm saying? The subscribers can roll out. That's fine. I'm not going to turn my back on someone that I told I would help and, you know, try and, like, help and show them what I've learned. You know? I don't know what it was, but I was like, you know, I'm going to help this guy. Didn't know him from nobody. I'm going to help him, show him what I know, and if he wants to use it, he can use it. Well, he definitely did what I told him to, and it worked, and, you know, like, well, him and I didn't get along a lot, and we argued like an old married couple, but people loved it. They loved to see us sit and argue, and you know what I mean? Like, it was even fun for us sometimes. But when it gets serious, and you want to talk behind someone's back, that's when I take offense. And that's when it's not fun. Now, let's get off of this subject. Because I'm not going to sit here and badmouth someone that's not here. Am I going to back snap on Junkie up with what? Him and Nestor? No, uh, no, Nestor, Nestor is a good guy. Nestor doesn't go running around telling people they're running their business the wrong way. You know what I mean? Like, it's Nestor's business. West Texas, and that's what everyone's saying, West. You know what I mean? I just, I, I mean, yeah, it's your money. I, I just don't get why you buy a $30,000, $20,000 box. When you don't even turn wrenches for a living. Subscribers, you guys aren't stupid. You know what I mean? Like, you're not stupid. And you know, like, Junkie did something that really hurt me. And I'm like, no homo. It, it legitimately hurt my feelings. And I can't take that back. So I promised this person, because I had a fucking video all lined up, ready to go. And I had a video all lined up, well, ready to start making, and I had fucking shit for days. I had all intentions on it coming out Sunday night, 8 p.m. I was going to drop it. But then I got to talking, someone got to talking to me, and asked me very nicely to not do this. And, like I said, this person's very near and dear to me, and um, I respected their wishes. Now, it doesn't mean I'm not going to sit here and say what I got to say or what I want to say, but I'm not going to make that video, um, you know, bashing. Corey, I do watch Eric O. Eric O was actually on the debate station a couple times. Our other channel. Hi, Alamanzo. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I had a very good friend I just got off the phone with talk some sense into me. Yes, Rich V did turn around. Rich V is actually not a bad guy. So if you guys see Rich V or go to his channel, show him some love now. Um, he was a big man, he apologized, you know, because he, he, he tried to fuck me really hard. And no homo, guys, no homo. But, like, he tried, he came at me and did some shady shit you shouldn't do to somebody. And I didn't even know the man. But, he came through, he apologized, and he, uh, he's been cool ever since. Um, yeah, so I squashed my issues with Rich V. I squashed my issues with, uh, Joel. Again, I really, really like Joel now. Joel, Joel's a cool dude. Uh, Real Tool Review. Real Tool Review is, he's, he, great videos. I don't know him. Um, I don't, and, you know, I heard, I'm 
Someone said that he was talking shit on the lower tool channels, meaning us, I imagine, but I don't know for a fact if he was, so I'm not going to sit here and bash him, but it, whether I bash him or not, he's got very good videos. Rich V is very bipolar, but, you know, some people can't control that, Gus. You know what I mean? I don't... I'm not gonna say I, I'm not gonna sit here and put trust in them or anything, but I will say I put my emotions and everything to the side. And again, I wanted to be the bigger man. I accepted his apology, and he's been cool ever since. So that's where I stand on that. Um. Martinez, the Big Six, there's a funny story about the Big Six. When the Big Six came out, everyone was all, yeah, 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 happy about it. Like, the guys in it. And I was like, yo, I don't want no part of this gay shit. Like, everyone's going to make fun of us, the Big Six, the Big Six Inches, they take the Big Six. They're all six inches all combined. Like, you know, like, all that sort of shit. So I was like, fuck this, I want nothing to do with it. I didn't know Jay Young created the Big Six and created it for the purpose of having a support group for the six of us, okay? So, um, once I found that out, I get, it, it hurt Jay Young's feelings that I said these things. And again, I had no idea Jay Young uh, made it. So once I found out that he made it and why he made it, I was like... Uh, I said, um, you know, I apologize. You know, I do want to be, I do want to be a part of it and this and that. But now it's gone to shit, dude. And I'm back to not wanting to be a part of it. I do not want to be a part of it. I love Jay Young. I look at Jay Young as like a fucking brother, okay? I love Nestor. Or not Nestor. I love you too, Nestor. <laughs> um, I love, uh, Joel, great guy. We squashed our beef. I talked to Jaron a few times. Jaron's an awesome dude. Uh, and Justin Dow is another awesome dude. Funny as fuck. Great guy. But um, I just kind of lost all respect for Junkie. I lost all respect for him. Nestor, we're not trolling for you. And actually, I didn't even know you were in here. And these guys can all vouch for me that I've done nothing but stick up for you this whole conversation. <clears throat> um, yeah, so, you know, you should never, I don't know. I was so, I wanted that video between him and Nestor to happen so bad because... I knew what the outcome was going to be. And I told everyone from the door, I'm not, I, I love Nestor. I'm not taking sides here. I want this to come on and I want you guys to hash it out. Because Junkie was so, so hooked on telling him that he's running his business the wrong way. I was like, this would be perfect for the debate station. And Junkie agreed. So we did it. You know what I mean? And Nestor agreed. And, you know, like, and, when you're telling somebody you're running the business the wrong way, it's their business. If they're up in business and they're thriving, you're not running your business the wrong way. You're not. Like, I just, I can't grasp it. You know, like, I, I just, I just don't get it. I, it just, it really fucking hurts and bothers me because I was, I was there. I was there when everyone told me not to stick up for him, not to, not to help him out when he first came on. Nobody liked him. Nobody liked him. And I still stuck by him, told him what to do. I said, you want to get views? You want to get subs? You need to start pumping out the content every fucking day. Every day. All right? Like, and I gave him everything I knew. Everything. 
Like I said, him and I were always at each other's throats. We argued all the time. But I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't think anything of it. I just thought, you know, hey, you know, that's just us. That's how we are, like an old married couple. But we go talking shit behind my back. Ah, you fucking... And I made a promise. I made a goddamn promise not to fucking do it. Not to do it. And that was one of the hardest promises I ever made. Because I, I, I'm sitting here, I'm fucking fired up and frustrated, and all I want to do is make this video. And I didn't care if this video made me lose all of my subscribers. You know, I did not care. Because I wanted to help him. Something about his videos or whatever, I think, I felt bad for him. So many people were up his ass when he came out. I was like, I'm going to help this guy. And, and he'll even vouch that I said that. The junkie will vouch that I said that. And if he doesn't, well, I won't even say it because he will. But I got on the phone, gave him pointer after pointer. I didn't make his channel grow. I can't make someone else's channel grow. I can give you pointers so that you can make your channel grow. But I didn't make his channel grow. I can't say that I did. All I can say is that I stuck by his side... When everyone badmouthed him, everyone f said, fuck his channel. When everyone did all this fucked up shit and said all this fucked up shit, I was right there taking the hits. I was getting threats, oh, if you keep sticking up for him, I'm nixing you as a, I'm not your subscriber anymore. And uh, Emails, uh, fucking goddamn, what else, uh, the comments, they're all in there. Everyone can see them. I stuck up for him, you know what I mean? Like, through and through. And then you want to be a fucking dirtbag to me? I don't think so. And the only reason why I made this promise not to make this video was because this person helped me. You know what I mean? This person was there for me. So, that's that. You know, I considered, I considered him a friend. I did. But I don't consider people friends when they do stuff like that. And then... The whole Big Six thing, if you look in all my videos to this day, to even right fucking now, if you look in that description, uh, where is it? Hold on. Oh, they're not in here. They're not in this description. But in any one of my descriptions for my videos, It'll show you that Junkie is on there. That the other four members are on there as well. So I guess recently he took me off of the list in the description and put some Russian dude or fucking German dude in the description in, in place of me. Alright. Harley, that's exactly what I'm speaking on. He wants to take me out of it. He wouldn't have been a figment in anyone's fucking imagination. Okay? He wouldn't have been. And a lot of people, there's a few people in the big six that didn't even like him when he came out. And I still, I stuck up for him. Still. And then you're going to take my name out of the fucking lineup? I could shut him down. I could shut him down quick as fuck. This is one of those things that pissed me off so bad, guys, that it's not even, it's not even about making a video. All right? It's about if I saw him, he'd be biting the fucking ground with his teeth. That's how mad I am. You don't do that to a friend. And if he didn't want to be a friend anymore, you say, look, let's go our ways. No hard feelings. That'd be that. Okay, Junkie, I respect you for saying that. No problem. No problem. You know, like, I, I, it, it hurt my fucking feelings. Call me a bitch. Call me a homo. I don't give a fuck. That hurt my feelings. You take me out of it and you can't have your fucking bitch-ass pussy to not even be able to fucking tell me? That's a fucking coward. You're a fucking coward.
Yeah, and I got, I got dirt on him. I got like, if there's one thing I, I watch, and I, I, you know, if 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 I, and I promise not to say this, and I'm not saying it, and I will not. But there's one thing, one thing. I can fucking end his channel with one thing. But I will not. I promised I will not. And I won't. I don't break my promises. And when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. You know, like. Oh, everyone told Dow, Dow to be quiet in live streams. I love Dow. I love Dow. He's an awesome guy. I don't like drunk Dow. And I've said this many times before. I love Dow. I don't love drunk Dow. Dow is two people. Okay. Um, but it seems like though he's getting better, so that's good because I, I really like Dow. Dow Dow's got a heart. Okay. Dow has everyone's best interest in mind when um when you know he's making videos or whatever. The way he gave those tools to his coworkers. Like You know, like, that, that, that was a good guy. That was a great guy. Give who one more chance? Junkie? Oh, I like Dow. Dow doesn't need a second chance. Dow has all the chances in the world with me. What do I think about Garnett? Well, they say birds of a feather flock together. Um, I would like to think Garnett is neutral. But I do like Garnett. I do like Garnett. Garnett, every time I've talked to him, he's been nothing but respectful. Um... You know, we asked each other's questions. He helped me out. I helped him out. The, Garnett is a really good guy. I, I think. I think. Now, I don't know if he's against me now because him and Dad are, what you would call it, are making videos together. And I'm not going to hate him just because he's Junkie's friend. You know what I mean? Like, they could be friends all they want. Garnett makes very good videos. Very, very good videos. Um, as far I don't know what the future holds for the debate station I was really really wanting to get to do a side project with Nestor so if you guys would like to see that let Nestor know because uh, I've been wanting to do some side stuff with Nestor for a long time but Nestor is very busy as I'm very busy so it's a matter of our schedules clashing and uh I always got a kick out of Hard Knock, so I contacted him, wanted to do like some collab work with him. Um, so we were just dicking around the other day when we did the transgender video. I mean, it was a serious video, you know, but at the same time, it was just a, you know, trial run to see how he was with the camera and everything. We just got to get him talking more, but I do like Hard Knocks. Again, another good guy. Um, Nestor, I gotta, I gotta put you on the spot. Actually, yeah, I'm about to, let me, let me, uh, I'm going to post my number in the description right now for the, well, the channel phone number. And then you guys can call in. Uh, it might be a little buggy at first, so 
I need someone to call in so we can work the bugs out. Uh, 609. 591. 9131. I already know people are going to run back to fucking which McCall and say Bruce is talking shit or whatever, and that's fine. I won't say anything I won't say to someone's fucking face. Not my style. Not my style at all. Anything I say, I will say to somebody's face. No two ways about it. Fuck my eye. I got something in my eye and it's driving me fucking nuts. And not my eyeball either. Um... Want to call in? Yo, what's up, killer? I know it's Nestor. No, I'm about to plug you in right now. Hang on. Might have to make some adjustments. So hold on one second. Yeah, no problem. Do you actually have a computer in front of you? Okay, put it, put it on the channel. And then this way here you can hear it. But don't... Play it too loud because it's just like a radio station where if they if you play, you know what I'm saying? So just enough so you can hear it. All right, I'm going to plug you in, and then we're going to go from there. I think I got everything. Got that there. Are you there? Oh, wait, I still hear you through the phone. Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to hear you through the phone. Oh, you're, well, you're probably live now. I think. Hold on. Uh, guys, let me know if you guys can hear uh, Nestor. Um, if you can. Just keep talking and say sweet nothings to me so everyone can, uh... Yeah. Hold on. No one's responding saying if they can hear you or not. They're like, fuck. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see something here. Um... That's going there. I know, I know. Um, I, I think I have an idea. Oh, wait. Mm. Trying to think of what the deal is. Um. Okay, so that's plugged in there. That's plugged in there. I'm just wondering why I have this plugged in and I can still hear you through the phone. Like, is that not my headphones? Okay. Oh, hold on, no, because I need someone to figure this out with, so. Who better than you? Huh. You there? Okay, all right, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I can hear you. Can you not hear me? All right, hang on. I mean, really, we could just do it that way, but then that would sound shitty. I said, really, I could just put you on speaker, but that defeats the whole purpose of this, because the audio is supposed to be, like, mint. Let me try, uh... uh yeah. Okay, put me on speaker. Um... Fuck, you know, it's... Normally, when you plug, like, a phone jack in or something, it shuts, like... It shuts... I can't hear you through the phone, you know what I mean? Like, it shuts that off. Well, hold on one second, hold on. I want to try something else. Uh, input. You there? I'm here. It's bad TV. Are you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> he said shitty better than nothing. Seth, 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 Seth. Can you hear me? Am I live? Can the boys hear me? Oh. Uh, alright, well, let's try I'll have to figure it out. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll get this figured out, but, um, yeah. Yeah, No, I know, I know. Nobody can hear you because it's not loud enough. Oh, yeah, they can hear me. Everybody's saying it. Oh, you know why? Oh, because I just had you plugged into the other thing. Now, now they can't. I just had you plugged in directly, but then I couldn't hear you. You know what I mean? Just turn, just turn your computer up, and you'll be able to hear it. Like, listen to your computer, because remember, there's a delay. come out but it can't come out now. Damn it. That would have been perfect for me because that would have just been like everybody go watch that video because not only does Junkie hide behind a troll account because he's a coward but he backstabs people. Oh wait. See yeah. Hold on. They said they can't hear you as good now. That's because I unplugged it. They were because there's a delay. They were able to hear you when I plugged you directly in. So hold on. We almost got this. They said they could barely hear you. When they were saying yes before, that was when I had you directly plugged in. All right, all right. Oh. Um. Hold on. Oh, no, it's fine. I can hear myself. Oh, you can? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I can hear you. Okay. It's fine. I can't. I made a promise. <laughs> Promises. Yeah, no, no, but it was serious because if I put this video out, it'll destroy the group. And I don't want to, like, destroy that. You know what I mean? That's their thing. You know what I mean? That's not my style. So I'm just. Yeah, yeah that's, I get it. You know what I mean? There's a fucking, like, there's a fucking line where fucking people got to, hey, hey, man, you, if you're going to talk shit, that's fine. Big deal. But 
But when people fucking want to talk shit behind people's back, that's when I have an issue with it. That's when you become a coward. That's when you have no balls. And that's when you have, that's when you have no business being around us. So if this fucker wants to talk shit, hey, bring it on. Not a fucking problem. But don't be talking behind people's back or backstabbing people. Because that's not cool. Thank you. That was my exact point. That's why I'm upset. I'm not upset because he's, you know, the things talking shit or whatever. I'm upset because of that. And I'm upset because he took me off. It sounds stupid, but he took me off the six list and put some dude that has no cred- no credibility whatsoever. Like, how do you take me off of something that where if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be a part of it? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's what learn. Nestor. How many times, even with even with you, I know at least once or twice, where if I learned something new about YouTube or I thought I knew something you didn't know, did I come to you and say, hey, Nestor, try this out. You might like it. You might make, like, with the Amazon. I didn't know you had Amazon. As soon as I found out I was profiting from it, what did I do? Hey, Nestor, I've been profiting from this. Well, you should check it out. Did I not? Yeah. I, mean, but I didn't know. I didn't know you already knew about it. But I still came to you and was like, yo, check this out. It might help you. Yeah, and exactly. I mean, every time we had a had a new revelation with YouTube or we, we thought we, we found something that could help the guys or we found a new school that we thought was going to be cool and, like, benefit the channels. And we were all sharing the information because we were like, dude, everybody that watches me fucking watches you. It would be great if we just, like, you know, help each other out and get bigger together. Coexist. Coexist. Yeah, and we did. And then, you know, that was like between me and you and Jay That was in the beginning, beginning. And then uh, you brought on the junkie, and I go, well, that's cool and all, but I don't like that guy very much. And, and I told you straight up, I don't like that guy. And and him, but you, that's d- it. you did, and, and, uh, and so did everybody else. Every, I'm going to be honest. Everyone else told me the same exact thing. And I still, why I did it, I don't know. But I wanted to help him. Yeah, he's a fucking pussy, man. Like, I'm telling you. He's a fucking coward. This fucker made a fucking account, a fake account, to come and troll me. You know, he's probably trolling you and try, probably trolling everybody, you know. And I'm more like, dude, it's not very hard to figure out who the fuck you are. So my biggest problem with him is not that he's talking shit. My, my biggest problem is that he's a fucking coward and won't tell me to my face. Even to this day, today was the only time he's ever addressed me directly. So today was the only thing he ever came on my channel and said anything. What did you say? Today was the, the, the first day in, in fucking weeks that he's actually even mentioned me at all. And I'm all like, dude, you think you this fucking long to even say something to me? And what? I had to go to his channel and talk shit to him before he even came to me. So that's the biggest problem. So that's what I'm going to be addressing in the video I'm going to make. Um, you know. It's one of those things, bro. I don't, I don't like people that are so. That, and, you know, I had to make a promise to somebody that I wouldn't make the video, and it's ve- it was very hard for me to make that promise, but I couldn't tell this person no, because, you know, when I needed this person, he was there, and he asked me this favor is kind of like the return favor, so, you know what I mean? I have to show respect. I would have done it for you. I would have done it for anybody, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Get it, you know, and that's why I'm not like, hey, release it, because you know, everybody knows, everybody fucking knows. All the guys on the chat know. All the guys that watch my videos, your videos, they all know who that kind of, you know, who he is by the way he's you know, been acting and the way we've been exposing him. Look, man, I don't like, I don't like fucking going after people. You know, I've said that plenty of times. So when people come after me and they're acting fucking cowardly, then I'm gonna expose them and shine the light because that's the only way that they. People gotta make. People have to realize too. We would make more money coming together than we would hating on each other. Not even that, man. It's not even about the money. It's about just having integrity. Well, you know, yeah. Day, well, well, integrity's at first. The end of the day, man. Integrity's first. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's like, hey, man. The only way you're ever gonna be successful on YouTube is to be real and be genuine. If you're out there fucking trolling people behind accounts instead of being a man and going up to them. And, and making a video addressing the issues you have with that person, you're not gonna go very far. And that's the whole fucking point of it. It's like, look, my guys are smart as fuck. They call me out on my shit. My guys talk shit to me. You really think that they're not gonna fucking see right through you and fucking figure out who the fuck, what kind of person you are? I'm like, come on, man, you fucking kidding me? 
Hey, dude, I got guys on my street, on my video, consistently calling me out. And I appreciate it. I don't fucking care. You know, it's fine. They don't do it disrespectfully. They just call me out on shit. And we, we, we always, like, figure it out. My guys know what the fuck is up. And then Junkie doesn't understand that these are the kind of guys that we have on our channel. Yeah. You're 110% right, dude. video yeah dude I, I i don't get how you could say that if you use a scanner you're not a technician you cannot you cannot own or work in a repair facility without a scanner these days we're not in carbureted land anymore yeah. you, you have to have a scanner what's up frankie it's one of those things you know it's like it's one of those things where i mean you know, we, we all say shit that sometimes we're like, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have been like, I shouldn't have made that an absolute, right? When I say, hey, guys, you know, I don't say, oh, yeah, you can fix radiators with Davy Well. <laughs> I don't fucking say you can do that. I say, look, guys, then sometimes it works, then sometimes it doesn't work. I know this shit might leak, but whatever. This is why I'm doing it. And I give that a little disclaimer. But this fucker just fucking says random shit as absolute, and that's why people call him out on it. I don't know. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know, dude. This is something that got me so heated and just so, oh, man, I can't even believe it. Like I said, it sucks because it hurts more. Like, I spent so much time, I put so much effort into helping him, and it, it was draining because I had so many people telling me I was stupid and that I'm going to unsubscribe from you because you support him. You know, like, and he's not a mechanic. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not a mechanic. He owns a truck business, but he's not a mechanic. You know? And there's a there's a CIS program. These equipment, these heavy-duty equipments and these big trucks, they have, they have uh, diagnostic ports as well. You know what I mean? And the CIS program for cats, cat equipment, is like seventy thousand dollars for their diagnostic software for laptops. You know what I mean? Like, there's a reason it exists because you need it. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to get into weeds with him on that. You know, I mean, I mean, I don't know the truck world. I don't fucking know, man. At the end of the day, this guy's a fucking idiot, <laughs> and it's gonna be funny. For, for me and, and my guy to go pull him and just have a little bit of fun. Uh, Drama alert. You know, <laughs> now over 1.8. No, sorry, Nestor. Go ahead. Sorry. What'd you say? No, no, no it's fine. I mean, it's one of those things, man. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just funny. And it's fun. And if people want to fucking go after me and talk shit, and that's fine and all, but don't be fucking mad when I go after you make fucking, you know, concrete videos, because I have nothing to hide, The motherfuckers do, and uh, that's all I'm going to say tonight, buddy, I got to go, I got to fucking, uh, I got to go and uh, take care of you know what I'm saying? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get together, dude, I think we need to uh, just get on a live stream together here soon, so we'll plan something out, because a lot of these guys want to see it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we got to announce it in, a, in advance and get get the, get the guys all involved and make sure that it's a good, uh, make sure it's a good stream so we can all have a, a good conversation. Oh, absolutely. Oh, who that video? I'm, I'm coming out with the video of what, what, like, my final thoughts on Junkie, and if this fucker wants to keep fucking going after it, then we'll keep going, but that'll, this will probably be my last video with Junkie. Um, just let it be, dude. After this video, just let it go. Because the thing about you, the thing about YouTube, Nestor, the thing about YouTube, 
is if you keep if you give someone hate, the shitty thing is you actually make them more famous. Oh yeah, I'm with you. This is fun, man. For me, this is just more fun. Um, but I'll, I'll definitely like. I just get what I have to say, and then we'll go from there. But uh, we'll we'll get together, and uh, we'll go from there. Sounds good to me, big guy. All right, buddy. Good to talk to you. All right. See you later. You too. Have a good, safe night, dude. You too, buddy. Take care. Later. All right, guys, so obviously we had the direct connection hooked up and working really well, but I was only able to get one cord in. Uh, it wouldn't work with the adapter, so I'm going to have to figure that out. I think it's the phone I'm using. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely we'll get this figured out. Uh, do you guys like... Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on Nestor? You guys want to see us do uh, live streams together? Um, we're not, me and uh, Forge, uh, Hard Knocks, got some uh, things in the works. The Nestor thing is not a permanent thing, it's just live streams here and there together. Forge is more of a, maybe a permanent fixture these days. We'll have to see how everything goes. He's got to open up a little more on, uh, on the uh, live side. Once he does that, I think he'll be okay. He's definitely a cool dude. I think you guys will definitely like him. No, I'm not going to... You will not see me te team up on somebody. You will not see me team up on somebody. If Nestor's going to say whatever he's got to say, he's going to say it. I'm not going to sit there and, like, jump up. Like, you know what I mean? Where both of us just go ham on him. That's not fair. That's like kicking someone when they're down. Guys, give me one second. I need to give this card to some. Well, it's nothing. It's just a card, but a uh, live stream. Huh? I'm always hungry. Are you saying you want me to order food? So, you guys want to see what I got? Now, it's, um, it's a little older, but it's still very, very relevant and will still work perfectly to this day to do what I need it to do. No, it's not a scan tool. Not the brick scanner either. The brick scanner, Harley, is the MT2500. This one here is the uh, MT2400. And it's the Vantage. It is a four channel lab scope. Uh, I'm not going to start my own big six because I was opposed to the first one. But um, 
once Jay Young made the points that he made about why he started it and that he started it and it wasn't just someone starting it, I, you know, wanted to be a part of it with Jay Young. And then it's almost like these people invited themselves into it. Well, not these people. Oh, shit, I got the wrong fucking batteries. Son of a bitch. I got C's and it takes D's. Uh, no, I actually got this for free today. I got it for free with the uh, Vantage case and the, and the leads. Um, don't tell Junkie you're looking for one of these because they'll say you don't need it, that they're useless. On the big trucks, even the shitty works on this is very, very useful. Gus, you got my message and you heard everything I said earlier, right, Gus Boss? Um, guys, not luck. I'm working on getting the um the lab scope for my Altel, because they make a lab scope adapter. So I will be raffling this one off. And instead of five dollar tickets, they will be three dollar tickets. This way here, everyone can get in on it. But um, that's only, that's when I get it. I don't know when I get it, so I'm not going to get everyone's hopes up. But as soon as I get it, um, I will do a, um, whatchamacallit. And these are still very useful. It looks old and everything, but it's still it's in great condition. And they still work great. And they're really nice to have. A lot of people don't even have these. You know, as you guys can see, it's in great condition. There's no big scratches, no nothing. The jog wheel works fine. All the buttons work fine. The backlit even lights, the backlit screen. What's up, Bell? All right, Gus. Yeah, I just wanted to, I did not forget, Gus. I did not promise. Well, I forgot. I did. Well, I, and I got tied up like crazy. But I, it's ready to go. It will be gone. What's his name too was at the same time I was getting emails from both of you and then I got his out and then yours was I left it on the table with the other packages somehow and oh, fuck. Beamer, you take it easy buddy. Have a good night. Thanks for joining us. That scanner isn't $5,000 and oh, God I wish I can't say anything. Uh, Fuzzy Wuzzy, I can tell, I can sum it up right here, Fuzzy Wuzzy. Snap on and Blue Point aren't the same. All right, um, they're just they're two totally different companies, and um, it's just Snap on sells them. I think Snap on owns them, but they're two totally different qualities. Okay. They're, they're just not the same. So a lot of people tend to think that when they have blue point, they have snap on. Not the case at all. They have blue point. Yeah, if you noticed in Junkie's rebuild video, he did the easy work. I didn't see him adjusting valves. I didn't see him in there with a feeler gauge adjusting the valves, torquing the bridges down. I've rebuilt a bunch of those motors from the ground up. From the ground up. I have the tool for that engine to turn the engine over in my toolbox still, and I don't even work on that shit anymore. It's a $100 engine turning tool. 
It's a little thing with splines on it. Looks like a socket. He said, snap on, oh my God, I never realized that. You know, I'm waiting for the day I could start recording my work so you guys can see it. In the summertime with the side jobs, I'm going to be recording all the side jobs so you guys can see and then teach you guys, the, the people that are inspiring to learn and want to learn, I'm going to be recording these videos to help you guys to show you guys to teach you how to test things and Bill is a goddamn genius behind a scanner and behind all that stuff so I'm gonna get him in there because Bill Bill teaches better than I do you know um Martinez I was and then I, I went back to work Because um, I couldn't do it all the time, man. I was going nuts. I was going nuts. I can't sit home. Cannot. Oh, I didn't show you guys this yet. This is a good purchase. Oh, wait, David, 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 and uh, Gus Bus, David can vouch that I send everything. I'm sending you a little, a little torch. I sent David one of these. One of these, and he got it, so that just goes to show I keep my word and I say what I'm, David, tell him, what did, what did I send you, David? Did you not win one of these in the raffle? Junkies got both of them, all right? That new light Junkies got is nice. The one with the one LED on it, that's nice. I almost bought one. But I had bought, right when that came out, I had bought this one a week prior. And this one was $150 cheaper, if I'm not mistaken. So I did not buy it. I was going to. And Snap-on was even going to let me trade this one back in at full price because I hadn't used it yet. Just took it out of the box but I just didn't want it. This one works plenty good enough for me. Oh, Fuzzy, I went to, I had everything going and then uh, something came up and I had to miss my appointment. So um, actually Monday we're rescheduling. Uh, Bill made his appointments and now he got his other two. So now he's got four of them. Uh, it's 10.55 over here, Frankie. Guys, you mind if I take a little quick smoke break? Well, I'm not, I don't really need to ask you, but I'm just letting you guys, I'm going to take a quick five-minute smoke break. You guys can sit here and mingle. Uh, and... I'll see you in a minute. Just give me a minute to take a little break. I gotta get up and stretch and shit. This was only supposed to go till 9 o'clock and it's already two hours later. So, uh, just give me one second, guys. I can promise you guys it's not a joke. 
I can promise you guys. David, have a good night, buddy. Be safe. And you know, I, I, in all honesty, I, I even hate to talk bad on him, guys. I do. I do because it's not my style. I liked him. I considered him a friend. And he fucking betrayed me. That's what happened. And that's the bottom line. Because Bruce Cold fucking said so. God damn it. Yeah, Hard Knocks needs to do a goddamn live stream with those goggles on it. Those things are badass. That's a sick picture. Oh, and who remembers the video of this light that I did? Any of you guys remember the video of this light I did? Um, because, uh, I'm doing an updated review on this light. Okay, I, when I did that review on the light, that was an initial impression. And now I'm going to be doing the review, and you guys might want to watch that. No, 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 no. What's up, Garnett? Nobody better be talking shit on Garnett. Nuh-uh. Let me see. Who was that? <laughs> Shove it up my... On camera? Oh shit, Dez, what's up, Dez? Long time no see. I don't know how anyone could have anything bad to say about Garnett. I don't know, like that's just me though. Videos are on point. I love the video with the snap-on sockets and the hex inserts. I watched that one the other day. That was a pretty sick tool. Set. All right, I'll be right back. Hang on. Oh, Garnett. Looky, looky. Where'd the thing go? Look what I got today for free. Here, I'll pull it out. Ha, huh, that's what she said. Advantage. Lab scope. I don't think. Well, yeah, I, I imagine you would use lab scopes on uh, on forklifts as well. Not so much scanners, but lab scopes.
All right, guys, I'm back. Mm. All right. Um, the, uh, yeah, I'm not going into any more about Junkie tonight. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm very, very disappointed. And uh, that that's just that. I'm leaving it at that. What's up, Brady? How's everything going? I'm not all sweaty. I'm dry as a bone. That's awesome. Uh, 70 subs. Uh, the hardest part of starting a channel is making it to 100 subs. So good for you because uh, a lot of people usually give up before they even hit 100. James, I wasn't watching porn, James. I'll let you guys know when I am. <laughs> hey, did you guys like the intro on the last video with the uh, midget dancing? I thought that was great. Uh, no. If you guys haven't seen Garnett's video about the uh, the snap-on tools, the snap-on sockets that he turned into Allen sockets. Make sure you guys check that out. That, that video is dope. I'm actually here. You know what? Here. Let's see if we can find it real quick. Yo, Garnett, were those swivel head... What in the fuck? Wait, where did that go? Were those swivel head fucking... Crow's feet wrenches? Yeah, they were. Look at those things. What are those? Wow, those are pretty badass. All right, let's see. Yeah, these here. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to Grand hey, Tools. What's so, going on, YouTube? if they don't make it, sometimes you just really got to do it yourself. So, a little about why I wanted to do this. Look at because that shit. I work out of a service van. Like, that's just awesome. He took the snap-on sockets and made his own Allen sockets. And I guess, like you said, snap-on doesn't even make those. Like, 
this this is just good craftsmanship right here and this was a very good idea um it's seemed to be cost effective and like you said when when you um when you buy them socket by socket which is how I do it when I buy when I as I've been converting my sockets to snap on it's actually not as bad as it seems like your 3 8 socket shallows are roughly $15 a piece $16 a piece and then your 3 8 deeps are like $23 $25 something so if you get them a socket at a time like me I buy one socket a week it's really not that bad and the thing about it too is you don't save money really when you buy sets or when you buy them individually you're pretty I, it might if you do it's only like a dollar or two that's what the dealer told me um so like same thing applies to this so if you buy a socket and then you buy you buy the uh the allen bits from that company and then every week just buy a socket and then make your own and then it doesn't feel as bad you're still paying a lot but it doesn't feel like your your ass doesn't hurt as much So, there's a lot of cool shit on here. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you go over to Garnett's channel and subscribe because I love his content. It took me a while to watch his shit when he first came on the scene just because I was always busy and making my own content. And then, like, I would wish I'd seen it sooner because his content's good. And I love, I love his camera angles and his focus techniques. It's, uh, he's very creative, very, very creative. So again, if you haven't, make sure you guys go over and uh, subscribe to him. As a matter of fact, here guys, I'm gonna set this right here and uh, make sure you guys go click that link and subscribe. Yeah, no problem, bro. I'm telling you, like, any more I need to pick and choose who I'm going to support and who I'm going to help put out there. Like, I'm not just going to fucking do this shit anymore to get kicked in the balls. But I really love your channel. I do. And every time I talk to you, you're nothing but a nice guy. You're easy to relate to. Like, that one night when we did the live stream afterwards, we stayed on the phone for an hour, two hours, and I had no problems talking to you. Like, you're a good dude, so... The least I can do. Uh, how do you guys know what the delay is? I'm not understanding how you guys know there's a delay when, um, or is it just how I'm responding to the uh, comments? Because it is like a good 20 or 30 second delay. Good night, Cummins. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, Harley.
Oh, okay, yeah, that would make sense too when I posted the link and then talked about it. Yeah, I posted the link and then... Yeah, that would make sense. It's a YouTube thing. There's nothing we can do about it. Garnett, when you guys stream on... On the other shit, is there still a delay, like Super Chat or whatever that is? Oh, I'm fucking exhausted. What a long day. Arlie, have a good night. Thanks for joining us. Oh, wow. That's a long time to be working. Oh, Brady, were you the one, the one with the school? Okay. Okay, Brady, here's what we're going to do. All right, I've only, I'm going to stay on here for about five more minutes. Like, I'm passing out. I need to get some sleep. I'm fucking exhausted. Um, oh, Garnett, shit. You, do you have my email, Garnett? If you have my email, um, text me your number. My phone broke. So I'm, I'm, uh, I had to get another phone. And, uh, Brady, um, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to, yeah, you have my email, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Garnett, I'll text you. Just, uh, send me your number. Um, Brady, um, I'm going to do this for you, Brady, but I'm telling you, don't let me find out it's bullshit. All right, I want to help you out. And I'm sure a lot of these guys will be willing to help you out. And I'm going to explain to you guys here in a second what I'm talking about. Um, but I want to do it in a video because a video will reach more people. And here we only get 49 people watching. If I do it in an actual video, then um, you'll get a lot more viewers. Um, all right, so here's the deal. Um, we have Brady here, guys, okay? And he is wanting to become a technician and go to school, okay? But he needs to raise some money to be able to afford school because, if I'm not mistaken, he was paying for... Uh, family medical bills and stuff like that for school so you can't knock anybody that wants to do better in their life or wants to achieve higher goals so because he's paying these medical bills and doing other things he can't afford to go to school to be a technician all right and a lot of times now anymore places won't hire you without being without having schooling or certs or anything like that i mean you can but you won't pay very well 
as opposed to where if you get out of school and have certs and stuff. So what Brady has done is he started himself a GoFundMe account, all right? And in my next video, I'm going to post all the information about it, the email he wrote to me, the GoFundMe link, a uh, snapshot of his GoFundMe itself. And I ask that if anyone can, just go in there and shoot a dollar, two dollars. You know, like uh, his, his asking amount isn't a lot, so he's not being greedy, you know. Um, and I think that, you know, together we can all help him achieve his goal. And I'm going to do a couple things because I plan on doing this video Sunday. So I'm going to do a couple things to validate his request because I just want to make sure that we're not throwing money at someone that just wants money. Because doing these streams and posting this stuff in videos, whether you guys want to believe it or not, can raise a lot of money for somebody. You know, if I'm getting some of my videos are getting a 50,000, 70,000, 100, 200,000 views. I'm reaching out to a lot of people. Look what happened with Stan. I said, Stan, do you want me to help you make some money? He was like, how are you going to do that? I said, I'll shout you out my YouTube video. He was like, I don't know if it'll work. Well, Stan said he got about 1,000 to 2,000 phone calls. All right. So that just goes to show it does work. All right. So Brady's goal... Is he's asking for six hundred dollars? Like that's what his GoFundMe is, and uh, it's supposedly being used for school. Again, I want to speak to him more about it. You know, I just I don't know him personally, but I'm willing to help out. And you know, I know a lot of you guys are always willing to help out. It's just think if <clears throat> if each person gave a dollar. It only takes 600 people to give a dollar to, and it's YouTube, so it's not unheard of. You know what I'm saying? So it's a very obtainable goal. And, you know, he's young, and it's, it, you know, if, if we had things like this when we were younger, maybe some of us could have had different outcomes in our lives. Because I know a lot of us couldn't afford certain things or school. Um, Brady, uh, I. Almanzo is 100% correct. That's R232 tuner. If you're gonna to go to school and we're gonna and you're gonna uh, get donations from these people, I'm telling you, dude, you need to go to diesel school. You're talking five, ten times the amount you would make as an auto technician. You do diesel, dude. You can work on Mack trucks. You can work on the money's in heavy equipment. All right, you're talking thirty, forty dollars an hour. Diesel's the way to go. I got to learn diesel for free on the heavy equipment and stuff, so I got lucky. But diesel is the way to go, Brady. If, if these people donate to you, you need to get the most out of it. You need to let them know that their money is not going to waste and that they are actually helping somebody for a good cause. If you're taking these people's money to help you help yourself, you need to go diesel, dude. Brady, there's a difference between auto mechanics school, auto mechanics and diesel are different, all right? You're not, they're not gonna be in a class where they're gonna teach you cars and equipment in the same class. All right, you need, you, these people are trying to tell you something and you need to listen. You're young, all right? I'm not being a dick, but don't be naive. If you looked, nine, a bunch of these people keep telling you Diesel, diesel, diesel. If you want a good, solid future, dude, it's hard to make a good living turning wrenches uh, on cars. You'll make money, but you're not going to make diesel money, all right? Diesel is actually very easy to learn. All right, diesel's the way to go. If you want a good, solid, secure future in turning wrenches, go diesel. Don't waste your time. If you're going to school, make it for a purpose. Don't waste your time going to school for auto mechanics or auto mechanics if you have a choice.
You know, I just, I turned 36 years old yesterday. I know what I'm talking about. I've been around the block a few times. If I could do it all over again, I would have been, I would have went full diesel. <laughs> he said, learn how to change spark plugs on cats and you're good. <laughs> you show me a spark plug on a cat. <laughs> Thanks, Frankie. I mean, Brady, at the end of the day, it's your decision. If, if money's not an issue for you and you don't have to worry about it, but you got to remember, Brady, if I recall, you said you're young, all right? You don't have a family yet. You don't have kids yet. Once, once you have all this stuff, your money's gone, Brady. You need to think about the future, okay? I mean, if this is your passion you want to and there's no talking you out of it, that's fine. But... Loving what you do isn't going to put food on the table for your wife and your kids. The fact, though, look, another one. You need to be smart about this. These people are already asking questions. You know, if I, if, when I see the donations and when I was needing help and shit and people came in, they op these guys open their wallets, all right? I don't know how many of them or who exactly. I can't exactly remember because so many people help. A lot of them will help you, all right? They will, whether it's a dollar, 50 cents, whatever, all that adds up. A lot of these people are willing to help. You just need to do the right thing. I'm weathered, man. I'm seasoned. <laughs> I've been around the block. I'm not just spitting words out. And diesel is just as fun to me. You know, like, diesel is easier, way easier than regular automotive work. Everything's bigger, easier to handle. Not easier to handle, but everything's, to me, is just way easier. It's less complex. Martinez, I don't do it anymore because I moved. And I have a job now at a very reputable shop. Um, but I moved. And I loved what I was doing, man. I got to play with heavy equipment and fix it. You know what I mean? Like, it was a, it was a dream job. Where did he go? He's not saying anything now. You better get your ass back here if you want me to help you. Or, or you want these people to help you, I should say. Brady. Brady, Brady, how old are you now? Brady, you're not listening. You're not listening. I understand what you're saying, Brady. Brady, how old are you? Respond with how old you are. I understand what you're saying. But that, you, you're, where you're at now, you probably think $20 an hour is a lot. It's not anymore. It's not. Okay, it's really, really not. You're going you're gonna, to, as time goes on, and when you're in the automotive world, everyone here can tell you, you don't get raises, like two, three dollar raises. 
When you're doing diesel, you get two to five dollar raises a year. All right. You're 22 and 23. No kids, I'm assuming. All right. Once you have kids, you have no idea. You got to start buying their clothes, their cars, their stuff like that. If you're turning wrenches, regular automotive, and in 16 years, when your kid turns 16 for a car, you're going to have to have her help you get it for her or him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're young, and right now your responses, your responses are showing your age. Okay? And I'm not being mean or cruel. You're saying, yeah, but it's been my dream since I was eight. Your dreams aren't going to pay the bills. All right. And the great thing about it is, Brady, a lot of things you learn about diesel transfers over to the automotive world. You get a general idea of how everything works. Everything pretty much works the same, except diesel runs off of compression. Okay. Not spark. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Austin. All right, guys, I'm wrapping this up. Um, um, I think you and I need to have a uh, serious talk. Oh, what the hell? Where'd it go? Brady, you and I need to have a talk in the, uh, Um, Brady, make sure you email me and then we'll get this all set up for Sunday. Um, I'm sure a lot of these guys will be willing to help you out. Um, they're all good guys, you know, like, you know, I, fuck, you know, I'll, I'll throw in a couple bucks. Everyone, everyone will help chip in. You'll get, you'll reach your goal. But uh, you just need to do what's right. I'll help you get there. We'll all help you get there. You know, that's the good thing about stuff like that. If any of you guys ever need anything and you think I can help you, let me know the situation. And as long as I feel it's legit, I will post it up and, and help you guys uh, get the help you need. Austin, at the end of the day, he's going to do what he wants. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to bash or knock him. But, uh, you know, he, he, if the time comes, he might find out for himself the hard way or he might be good and run into something. You know what I mean? So all I ask, guys, is that when you watch the video on Sunday, just take into consideration that um, someone needs help. You know, someone very close to me, important to me, just helped me out when I needed it. So now I want to help him out, reach his goals financially so he can, so he can, um, so he can get the schooling he needs. So that link will be up there on Sunday's video and you guys can help support, uh, his things. Holy shit, Jay Young, what's going on? Jay Young, you just shoot me what you want for vinyl and I'll get it out to you ASAP. I will make it up tomorrow. You let me know what you want from vinyl, big guy, and I got you tomorrow. Brady, you said 600 bucks. I'm going to talk to Joel, too. 
when that thing hits 600 bucks, we're letting everyone know to stop. All right, because these things have been known to raise, raise way more money than the asking price. I'm not being a jerk, but you put 600 bucks. That's what we're going to raise you. If it goes over, then, uh, then we need to figure out what to do with it. Because, I mean, you got to just take what you need. That's all I ask. Take what you need. We'll get you there, though, Brady. Don't worry. We'll get you there. I can promise you that. All right, guys. I'm wrapping this up. Brady, we'll talk more. And i uh, get you to meet your goals so you can uh, get the stuff you need and get yourself started. And uh, Nestor doesn't suck. Nestor's a good dude. And... Um, Strictly, yeah, I, you know, I try to be, but, you know, it's honestly, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's like people like this, the, the Jay Young right there in the chat there, you know, I needed something, I was in a really, really tough time, and it was coming hell or high water, and he was there to help me, you know what I'm saying? So now, I'm just paying it forward, and, um, now, uh, Brady needs help, so... You know, we're going to try and help him out, see what we can uh, do. Nobody's donate and uh, Brady, don't take this the wrong way, but nobody's donate anything until Sunday's video comes out. I want to talk to Brady, and then if all goes well, then Sunday I will put the link and all the information down. I just, no offense to you, Brady, I just want to make sure everything's legitimate. We need to talk a little more because this is a big thing. You know what I mean? These are my subscribers, and I don't want someone taking their money for something that doesn't isn't the right purpose you can tell me anything you have to understand my point of view you know what i'm saying you can tell me anything you want to tell me you know what i'm saying like i just need to make sure for my subscribers sake that it's going where you say it's going and you, you can't blame me for that but so long as we talk everything checks out sunday the video will go up and I will be more than happy to help you. And as you can see, these people are already willing to help you, which, I mean, look, you can't ask for better people. I want to see you meet your goal. I do. But I need to make sure it's legit, too, for my subs subscriber's sake. Okay, good. I'll actually get in touch with, uh, with Joel as well and then him and I will talk too but if everything checks out you got no issues dude I'm sure we will raise that for you and actually I'll tell you I will I will tell them to let it because you need the tools and stuff six hundred dollars isn't gonna cut it um, we need to raise it to a thousand um, we need to raise it to a thousand because all these guys here can tell you, especially the diesel techs here, six hundred dollars isn't gonna buy you shit. 
All right, you need you need your schooling, you need your your books, you need all this stuff, and uh, and we need to make sure you get everything you need to to um, get what you need to be to get your good start, be successful. Oh, if you already got all the tools, then that's fine. All right, we'll keep it at six then. Well, at least you're honest. So there's one. You got you got a point in the right direction. Tuner, I know I know he needs to go diesel, but he seems like his mind is made. We can't change it. That's fine. Let him do his thing. Maybe this channel and these uh, live streams will be up in years, and he'll come back and be like, "Man, you're right." That hard knocks, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's why I was saying we need to up it to um But Brady, what I'm saying is we need to make your goal a thousand dollars, okay? There is no way you have enough tools. There's no way. A few thousand dollars in tools is not enough, Brady. When you say you have thirty thousand dollars in tools, then you've scratched the surface. And only then have you scratched the surface. No, 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 no. The fact, though, he's starting off. He doesn't need to buy a Snap-on toolbox. If you want a good box that's equivalent to a Snap-on, you need to get an Extreme box. All right, don't go buying Snap-on toolbox right now. If you don't have the money to buy your tools or your own box, then you've got no business buying Snap-on. All right, I, hey, I'm not gonna twist your legs. I was trying to help you, but that's fine. The goal will be 600. Make sure, uh, you need to make sure if we're doing this, the goal, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna talk to Joel. The goal on your, on your uh, GoFundMe needs to say 600. All right, not 800, not 1,000. The goal needs to say 600. So make sure you set that up. And uh, we will get you rolling, big guy. All right, cool, Brady. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Brady, we will talk more. Like I said, you, you have nothing to worry about. You're going to hit your goal. These guys are already willing to help. You're good to go. Uh, Jay Young, hit me up with the vinyl you need. And um, uh, everyone, have a great, amazing nice night. Be safe. Uh, yeah, don't... I. I wouldn't take anything from him. That's just me. Fuck him. Don't take his scanner. I just got a kick how he said the scanner was a piece of shit, but he couldn't break it. <laughs> he had to flip it over. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, yeah, that's here nor there. All right. Everyone have a good night. Jay Young, text me, buddy. We'll get you your vinyl set up. And that's that. Guys, it was great having you. I will see you next time. I want it today. I love Bruce and Hot Pink. <laughs> I think I won't make you one. All right, Brady. We'll, we'll get it for you. We'll get it for you. We will get it for you. Good night, guys.